Okay, this is just a short video showing a coccyx fracture. Uh, here we see the lumbar, this is on an MRI study. Uh, the lumbar spine is up in this area. The sacrum is here. And here you can see that bright signal uh, for the coccyx is, uh, is lit up uh, where there's that uh, coccygeal fracture. That's the upper bone of the coccyx. You can see that on uh, a couple of these images. These happen to be what are called T2 uh, images. Uh, and fluid shows up bright within the T2 images. So certainly that fracture is bright on these images, which is consistent with this being a recent fracture. Uh, if I swing over to the T1 images, fluid now shows up dark. Uh, and here you can see, again, the bones of the lumbar spine down through the sacrum. And this right here, that's the upper or most superior bone uh, of the coccyx. I'll come up, you can see it here as well. Again, lumbar spine, sacrum, and then upper bone of the coccyx. Focus on that if I can, right there. And you can see how that bone you know, is uh, disrupted. That's an oblique fracture, basically through the first coccygeal bony segment. Uh, so an upper coccyx fracture. Uh, and I'm going to come down to another image here. Again, looking at sacrum and coming down the sacrum. And then that bony segment right there where you can see the, uh, the fracture is present. Uh, this was actually missed by the uh, radiologist at the time uh, who uh, read this as being essentially normal uh, at the coccyx, uh, but clearly we can see the fracture both on the T1 and T2 uh, MRI images, um, and they also, the fracture was apparent on the uh, on the images of the, on the x-ray images as well. Uh, the radiologist did take time, uh, did spend time sort of on a distracted issue, in my opinion, you know, mentioning you know, a disc bulge or herniation up in the lumbar spine, very far away from where the patient was actually having her symptoms from her local fracture.